Hello, everyone. Welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is the last lesson, the review on airframes, engines, and systems. Let's review uh, engines. A four-stroke engine is generally heavier, more reliable, but with lower fuel consumption. It has four stroke, intake, compression, power, and exhaust. A two-stroke engine is lighter, but less reliable and has higher fuel consumption. There is an oil mixed in with the fuel that provides lubrication to the components in the engine. Most light aircraft engines are air-cooled because it's lighter and simpler than a liquid-cooled engine. A magneto provides a high-voltage spark at the correct timing. The magneto is disabled by grounding the magneto to the airframe, preventing a spark in the spark plug. Most aircraft have dual magnetos. Each magneto provides signal to one spark plug in each cylinder. The mixture adjusts the fuel air ratio. This is important when climbing to high altitudes. The carburetor heat provides heat to the carburetor when the air is humid and cool. The worst carburetor icing occurs between the temperatures of minus five and plus 10 degrees when the air is humid. Both high density altitude and high humidity reduce engine power. Let's review. The carburetor meters fuel and air going into the engine. The mixture control adjusts the fuel air mixture. Carburetor icing occurs when it is humid, humid and cool out, and the carburetor heat enriches the mixture. The fuel injection system has advantages of more even fuel distribution, resulting in better fuel economy, no carburetor icing. Its disadvantages are cost and complexity. Generators and alternators provide electrical energy to charge the battery. The battery stores the energy. Typical electrical system voltages are 14 volts and 28 volts in aircraft. Purposes of lubricating oil is sealing, cooling, lubricating, and flushing. A viscosity is the oil's resistance to flow. A higher SAE is a higher viscosity and therefore be more viscous, so more resistant to flow. Most light aircraft engines use a wet sump four speed system and you can only use the same type of oil in an engine unless approved by the manufacturer. 8087 fuel is obsolete. It's red, 100 LL. It's the standard AV gas now. It is blue colored. 100 130 is green. It's also obsolete. And Jet A is straw colored. You can go up in octane, but you cannot go down. Detonation occurs when fuel explodes in the cylinders as opposed to burns slowly. And vapor lock occurs when fuel turns to vapor, blocking liquid fuel such as a hot start uh, or a hot engine that won't start. When you're fueling the aircraft, it's important that you ground the aircraft uh, to prevent a static discharge. Three type of airframe construction, the truss type where the strength is in the frame, the monocoque where the strength is in the skin, and the semi-monocoque, which is a combination of the two, and it's the most common construction in modern aircraft. Okay, remember the landing gear is designed to absorb landing impacts. It may be retractable and then use mechanical, hydraulic, or electric power to retract the landing gear. The oxygen system is used for high altitude flight in unpressurized aircraft. The vacuum system provides vacuum for the attitude indicator, heading indicator, and turn coordinator or turn and bank indicator uh, if they are vacuum powered. 